Hey, here we go, Jack the Lane. I just found out, I looked at a video last night. I don't watch that many. And the long, uh, it was a big ad with Jack the Lane, his wife, and this commentator. And uh, I just realized that Costco has these things for about 50 bucks. They're a great, great juicer. I'm not selling them. But I've owned a Ruby, several Norwalks, lots of Omegas, never a gear driven Omega. But the spinners, different types of spinners. A lot of champions I have five champion juicers right now. I kind of collect them, people give them to me and so forth. I use them. I've got one right over there for making ice cream. No ice, no cream, but you know, frozen bananas and strawberries and so forth and so on. Anyway, so I'm going to make a quick juice right here. You could run a juice bar with these things, two or three of them. They would be great. And you're talking to a guy that's owned and operated a Ruby, and they go for like 2,000, 2,500, those big, shiny ones you see in the juice bars. This is a better juicer. Okay, here we go. The new juicer, the old one in the video, this video could have been many, many years old. They didn't have this shut off. So what they would do in a very, very, mm, they would slide another little cup under it. I used to do that too, because I have one of the older ones. So what I'm gonna do here is just take this, take this extra pulp out of here. Pretty easy to do, clean hands. Outside juice bar, easy cleanup. This pulp. What I also like to do is a little time consuming, but I take the blade out and I spin that out. They have a little tool for that, but most of the time you don't need it unless you're grinding up uh, ginger or something like that where it puts a lot of a, a lot of resistance on the blade and it makes it a little bit tighter. Okay, so here we go. The secret, not really, you don't have to do this. But for me, I've always had and built and operated presses. Norwalk presses, handmade presses, you name it. Uh, I have a little welding shop and, and I've always built a lot of stuff. So for me, it's a real natural to do this. People say I should build a little press. There's a lot of presses out there. I was looking at a, I was looking at some YouTubes on presses and I'm not really big at I don't spend much time in front of my little uh, my little tablet. You know just because just because but anyway, there's a lot of guys working at home making these, making little presses. I don't know if you're going to be able to, yeah, you can't really read that because of the light. It's rainy today. But this is one and three quarter pounds. And we know that one pound is one pint, 16 ounces. So this would be 16... You know, about 30 ounces of juice right there. Then, I can wait a little bit longer, but I probably won't because of the filming time here. But, uh, because usually I clean, I clean my machine. 
I clean up all the stuff when this is pressing. And that, that only, it only does take a minute or so. And then I take this guy out. This is a tray I got for Ikea for, I know, two bucks. Oh, they're great. Poly trays, food grade. Okay, this is three quarters of a pound. So there's 12 ounces right there. Generally, you throw that away. If you throw the pulp away. Or in Jack Lane, they said you could use it in food, like making muffins or something like that. And maybe that's okay. So anyway, there we go. That's grinding it, pressing it, knowing how much it was. I should have weighed it before, but here we go. This Jack Lane juicer, I'm not selling them but for 50 bucks. There's a bunch of little presses out there, nothing I'm real happy with, but the people are having a lot of fun with the handmade presses, and then there's the Wells press, it's $400 out of stock, something like that, something's going on with their business. K and K, all kinds of little backyard guys making little presses with hydraulic jacks from uh, Walmart or what have you, and all that's fine. Anything will do. Okay, here you go. Thank you.